I'm going to show you how to make an easy bread that you, you and your family can make for Monday Thursday communion service. Here's what it will look like when it's finished. Okay, the first thing you need to do is preheat your oven to 400 degrees and get a pan. It can be a baking sheet, it can be a pizza pan, it can be any kind of pan that is oven safe with just a little bit of cooking spray or oil on it so that the bread doesn't stick. Okay, we have flour, we have sugar, we have baking soda, baking powder, and salt are all our dry ingredients that we're going to put in the bowl. And then we have some water and some white vinegar that are our liquid ingredients that are going to go into this. So the first thing we're going to add is a cup of flour. Now when you're doing your cup of flour, make sure that it gets filled past the top of the measuring cup so that you can even it off with either a knife or with your flour scoop. Okay, we're going to add a second cup of flour, so we'll have two cups of flour in here. Okay, we're also going to add a half a tablespoon of sugar. If you like things a little sweeter, you can add a whole tablespoon of sugar. So I'm just filling mine about halfway and spreading it on top of the flour. And then we're going to add a teaspoonful of baking powder, baking soda, and salt. After we add all of those dry ingredients together, we're going to use, you can use a wooden spoon or you can use a fork, something to mix with. Um, personally, I like to use a fork. And I'm just going to mix those dry ingredients together just so that they're mixed up a little bit. Okay, in a measuring cup here, I have a cup of, one cup of room temperature water. It shouldn't be too cold or too hot. And to that, I'm going to add a teaspoonful of vinegar. You can use white vinegar, you can use wine vinegar, you can use apple cider vinegar, it doesn't really matter what kind. Just a teaspoon. And stir that in to mix it up well. Okay, now to mix these together, we're going to, with one hand, stir around the flour so that it keeps mixing. And with the other hand, we're going to very slowly add the liquid ingredients in and stir as we go. sure you scrape the bottom of the bowl and get it all mixed in well. And then use your fork or your wooden spoon or whatever you're using for mixing and mix it into a sticky dough. Okay, with the sticky dough you can use your countertop or you can use a piece of wax paper or a piece um, a plastic cutting board or something because we need to knead the dough now to make it nice and silky before we put it in the oven to bake it. So I'm just going to take a little bit of flour and spread it out on my wax paper. And then I'm going to take my dough and I'm going to just put it into the middle of the wax paper on top of the flour. Now as we mix this together, we want to incorporate the flour that's on our wax paper in. So we're going to knead. To knead, we need to fold the dough in half and then just kind of pound it down with the heel of your hand. Fold it in half and pound it down with the heel of your hand. You want to keep doing that until it's not sticky anymore. Until instead of a sticky feeling, it has more of a silky, smooth feeling to it. This will take about two to three minutes. Your kids can help with this part of it. And then when we go to put it onto our sheet to put into the oven, it can be whatever shape you want. You might want to make it into a bread loaf shape, a square or a rectangle. You can make it into an oval. You can make it into a circle or whatever shape you want. But make sure it's not too thick. It needs to only be about an inch to an inch and a half high 
because it's going to rise in the oven and we want to make sure that it bakes all the way through when we're baking it. It will bake for 20 minutes at the 400 degree oven. Halfway through that time, at about 10 minutes, you're going to want to brush it a little bit over the top with some milk if you like a softer crust. If you like a tough, harder crust, then you can skip that step. Okay, after 20 minutes, when you take it out of the oven, you're going to brush it with some butter, melted butter, okay, to give it a nice smooth texture on the top. Okay, so mine is ready to go into the oven now. I'm going to take it off of the wax paper and I'm going to put it onto my baking sheet. And put it into the oven to bake now. Thank you for joining me. Hope you enjoy making bread with your children.